Hey, my name is Carlos, and in today's video, we are talking about multi-factor authentication, or MFA, for Microsoft 365 business users. Now, multi-factor authentication is like your tech body, essential, but it can be tricky. Microsoft is all in on multi-factor authentication, making it a superhero in the security game. It stops almost all common identity-related attacks and kicks out all the school authentication methods. It is like having a guardian for your digital stuff. But hey, let's be real. Getting multi-factor authentication up and running can be a challenge for some organizations. Not everyone is ready to jump on board right away. That's why Microsoft gives administrator the power to decide when and where to roll out multi-factor authentication. Imagine this. You, as the admin, can delay multi-factor authentication for some users. It gives your organizations time to get everyone on the same page. It is multi-factor authentication on your terms. Now, for the admins, if you got the only admin account, let's play it safe. I got a trick for you. Create a backup admin account without extra costs. It is like having a spare key. Check out this video that shows you how to create an admin user without a license. No extra fees. Pretty cool, right? All right. Let's dive into the practical stuff. I will show you step by step how you as the admin can enable multi-factor authentication for specific users. It is like having VIP access only to the important ones. To manage multi-factor authentication, you need to access your admin panel in Microsoft 365. As you may know, you need the admin role assigned to your account. If you do, you will find the admin icon on the left, right here. If you don't see it here, you can click on the nine little dots in the upper left corner and you will find the icon here, Admin. If the multi-factor authentication is already enabled in your Microsoft 365 subscription, it is probably because the security defaults are enabled. Microsoft has been enabling the security defaults for all Microsoft 365 subscriptions during the last month. Also, any new subscription will have this option enabled as well. So the first step is to disable the security defaults and it will turn off the multi-factor authentication for all users, unless you have forced it for a specific users already. To disable the security default, we need to access the Azure portal. We need to click on show all. We scroll down and we will click on identity. That should be under the admin centers. To make it easier, here we need to find for properties and we will see tenant properties. We click on here. If we scroll down, we will find this option, manage security defaults. On the right, we will find that it is already enabled. So we want to disable it. We click here and click on disabled. We will get this warning here with security defaults disabled your organization is vulnerable to common identity-related attacks. We will need to respond to the survey here below. In our case, we are going to respond too many sign-in and multi-factor authentication challenges. Then Microsoft recommend having separate accounts for administrations and standard productivity tasks. Then we click on Save. And then we will have Disable Security Defaults we need to confirm, disabled. Now, within a few minutes, multi-factor authentication will be disabled for all users. So the next step will be enable multi-factor authentication for specific users. We can go back to the admin center and then under users, we click on active users. On the top, we will find multi-factor authentication and then we will find all the users within our subscription. At this point, I suggest to enable multi-factor authentication for any user with admin access. Also, users who manage critical data. In our case, we are going to select this user, which has admin role, and also these two users. On the right, we will click on Enable. Then we confirm Enable multi-factor authentication and click on Closed. The selected users now has multi-factor authentication enabled. However, 
it will be optional for them to use it. So we need to enforce the multi-factor authentication for those users. So we select them again, and then click on Enforce. And then we confirm Enforce multi-factor authentication. Then click on Close. So this is how we enable and enforce multi-factor authentication for a specific users. The other users won't need to use the multi-factor authentication. When you are ready to enable it for other users, you can follow these same steps. If you know that you want to enable multi-factor authentication for all your users, then you can access the Azure portal and re-enable the security default. And that's the rundown on multi-factor authentication in Microsoft 365. We cover the why, the when, and the how. It is not just about adding layers. It is about adding the right layers to keep your digital world secure. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips. I am Carlos and I hope to see you next time. Stay secure, stay tech savvy.